Welcome to Shore Fishing Films, everybody. We're here again. This is the Paul Rogman European Open Beach 2024. And this is the 30th anniversary. And as you can see, there's quite a few competitors on the beach. This is the flatfish competition, and we're going to give it a go. We've actually been serious this time. Shh, don't tell anybody. I'm going to show you my rig. So it's nothing special, it's just flatfish stuff. As you can see, it's just three ups flapping. I've got a little green bead, I don't know if that'll work, and some red trace line. 80 pound leader right through. We're not only going to be casting out into the waves a little bit, it's nice, it, there is a southeasterly wind which is supposed to pour down in a bit, but we're set up, that's the main thing. So all we're going to do is just plop it outside the waves, some little black lug on, as in one long one chopped up into three for three baits, and hopefully we can catch ourselves a nice big flounder or a load of small dabs. And that will add up to our overall for the day, and we'll see if we can win something. We've not had a very good record in this little competition, so it's about time we made a change. Okay, we'll catch up with you in a minute. I hope you enjoy the video this year, and uh, we'll see you in a minute. Ryan has opted for some nice juicy ragworm as well, see if he can get a flatty. We've also got black lug, fresh ones. All our bait this year has come from Newton Baits. It's in really, really good, nice fresh bait. Getting very windy, I can feel the rain coming. Oh, stuck. I think I might have one. Yes, I have. I don't know if you hear me because of the wind. <laughs> look at that, look. Yay, he's got flatfish. Let's go see what they are. Whoa! I don't know if you can hear me, but the weather has taken a real bad turn for the worst. We've got 40 mile an hour onshore wind, and it is freezing and raining. We're a bit asleep. It's horrendous. So, we're going to sign off now, and I've got two fish. I've seen another one. I don't know. We'll see what happens at the way in. See you later! Well, it's day two of this European Open Beach Championships 2024. It's actually the first day of the main competition, so fishing is from nine o'clock until three o'clock this afternoon. It gives us six hours to try and catch a nice fish and take back to the weigh-in. So results of the flatter yesterday, 
didn't win anything, we weren't far away, but at least we got something registered, and that's a big change for us in the flatfish competition. So next year, who knows, we may even win a prize. But tonight, say we don't catch anything, there is the massive raffle, it's the 30th anniversary this year of this comp, so hopefully there'll be some really nice prizes and we get in the action on that. But we're just getting baited up now, using black lug today, crab, squid, crab cart, and Ryan's using some ragworm baits. So we'll see how we get on. We'll catch up with you shortly. See you in a minute. the pleasure of trying out a Century Fireblade today. Not the glass tip version, just the normal version. Lovely rod, cast beautifully. 14 foot. Managed the whiting, on, looks like I had a whiting I think I'm going for. Uh, I don't think it's big enough, I will measure it, but uh, we'll get it back in the sea, I expect. It ain't big enough, definitely. Well, at least we caught a fish today, there's a white in. Yeah, yeah. See Steve struggling with the weed there, look. Yeah. All this weed. <laughs> gets caught up in your shop leader knot and stuff and you have to pick it all off. Before you can get casting again. Right, a few people are having issues with their spikes coming undone. There is a trick that you can use to stop that. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it's put your bait elastic around them. Stops them pinging open so easily. Right, got to get this out to sea. This is a new fire blade, 14 foot. Four to seven ounce. In the sea. Ah. See if that brings a fish. I don't know if you can see, but obviously the wind and the weather has turned on us again today. We're still fishing. We've had a whiting. We'll see how we get on, but most anglers are leaving the beach before they get soaked and before they deal with any more weed. I'm still sticking with this big ragworm baits. Must be something out there that looks rag. Lug and crab, that's the way to go, right? Get him out there. Well, we have battled away against this weed, this strong southeast wind again. It was absolutely, well, all I can describe is it was hardly anything when we got here this morning. But as soon as the tide starts drifting out, this wind starts and it's horrendous. It's freezing cold. But it's all good fun. We're not complaining or anything, it's just good fun. But 
the weed is a bit of a nightmare. But that's fishing for you, and that's fishing down this end of the coast up, up on the Holderness coast. But um, I've had a whiting. Uh, we've had a few other little whitings I've not managed to get on camera, but nothing sizable enough to weigh in. Um, not at the moment, anyway. So we're going to keep trying. We've got about another hour left, and we're going to try and see if we can get something else. I'm actually going to drop one in close now and see if I can go for biggest flatty for a minute. See if there's any chance of that. So we'll keep trying. We'll keep out the wind. We're going to have a Mars bar. See you in a minute. Well, we missed that one. Hold him out a bit so he looks bigger. That's it. But Ryan managed himself a little coddling. Well done, he's two centimetres too small. Yeah. yeah, only two centimetres too small. <sighs> oh, well. Good job, well done, Ryan. Fish okay. at the end. Okay. Yeah. He's all right. He's gone. Well done. Well, welcome to the last day. This is day two of the European Open Beach Championships main event. Seems that the rays were the, the catch of the day yesterday. Nothing massive though, across the whole board, there was nothing massive. I think the weather really, really played its part, let's say. Uh, it kicked up the weed, it made the current stronger. A lot of people use braid, uh, so as soon as a wave hits braid, because there's no stretch, what it does is it pulls the weight out and they get swept along. We learned that from last year, if you remember. Okay, so today, as you can see, it's almost flat calm in comparison. So we're looking to get some really nice lug baits out there today. Uh, you do catch rays off these beaches. And if you do catch a ray, they're normally bigger than they are at the top. Right at the top by Bridlington. So we'll try all things. Hopefully we can hold the bottom nicely. We'll be able to see bites today because the wind has disappeared completely. No rain forecast. The only thing that's affecting us at the moment is a freezing cold like mist coming in off the sea. Well, we don't mind that. So, time to get set up. A couple of practice casts. Lay the line on the reel. And uh, we'll go get our gear down by the water and we'll start fishing. See you in a minute. Whipping on a nice peel of crab. Absolutely brilliant crab from Newton Bates. So let's hope this does the business. Nice long thin bait. There we go. Right, over the last couple of days, or yesterday anyway, we were using poly rigs to keep it simple uh, because of the weather. But now the weather has changed, we should be able to get away with stuff like a nice up and over, oh, up and over rig, which has a really long trace on the end of it. Mine is super long. See if that makes a difference. So, I'm going to load up some lug worms now, clip him up, send him out to sea. It's nearly time to fish. Come on, let's get one to weigh in. Ryan's in with one. 
nice white in. Have a look. He's not big enough, but still a fish. Nice. Got to be close, isn't it? Yeah. I reckon that'll be salty. My one yesterday was half size. Have you got a measure? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's just here. Yeah, look. I'll do it on the floor. Yay! Yes. Yes. There we are. Put them on my lovely top hook there, look. Nice cod lane. I reckon he's about two pounds, something like that. But at least there's a wire. Yes! Let's measure it. <laughs> it's 46. 46. 46. Get it in the bag. Yay! Yeah, he's got another one. What are you catching that on? Uh, squid. Squid. Um, flat load. Wow. Good job getting measured, get him in your bucket. Thank you. It's the cod number two. Tom has landed one. That's a beautiful, yeah, how big do you reckon that is? A three, four pen? Easy. <sighs> Tom, I'm gutted for you, mate. Let's take him on for you. Lift him up, let's have a look. Got another one? I think so. Oh, look at that. It's a haddock. First haddock I've ever seen caught. Nice haddock. Thank you. My first ever one. Yeah. <laughs> Cod number three. <laughs> <laughs> the size of that one. Got another one, number three. That one feels a little bit heavier. They're getting bigger. Hopefully, we'll get a big, big one. Got another one? Yeah. Got a nice bend? Yeah, it 
The microphones have died. Too much action. <laughs> Has it got one? I think yes, definitely. Here it goes. That's a beauty. It's a bigger one for him. Same size as your one, you just add. What, 48? Hey, nice fish, right? 